Hey, what's up guys, Mike here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Nexus launcher. So if you don't know how to do that, this will help you out quite a bit. Now there are two different ways that you can install it. You can navigate your way to the description down below and download the files that are linked in the steps and orders in which you are going to follow. So there is an APK file that you can install on the device yourself if you're not rooted or if you have a custom recovery install. And there's also a zip file that you can actually flash that is going to have everything all together. It's gonna to install it as a system file and basically grant permissions and give you all the features. Now, if you install the APK file, you will just simply not get Google Now on the side of the launcher, which is over here. So you will actually have to press on the search bar twice in order to get into your Google Now if you install the APK file. But let's go ahead and just dive into it real quick. I'll show you how to install it from the APK. So you will have to go to your security settings and you will have to enable that unknown resources or sources. Just go ahead and enable that for this specific file. Navigate your way through your file manager and you're going to first and foremost install the Nexus Launcher APK file. So go ahead and just launch this and then follow these shortcuts here. So just install it as you would normally with any other application. And once this finalizes, it will technically be installed, but you will get a crash if you try to choose wallpapers in general. So there is another link down below, which is called Wallpaper Picker. Uh, you will click on this as well and install this. That way you are fully functional with the wallpaper attachment because this is a actual new wallpaper program that they implemented with the new Nexus launcher. So you'll see here now that you can in fact use the Nexus launcher. And then there you go, it's as simple as that. Uh, you, like I said, you won't have the ability to go to your Google now, but if you long press tap and go to your wallpapers, you will be able to go in here and select everything just as normal. So the only feature you really miss out on is that Google Now feature. So if you double tap over here on the Google logo, you'll be able to access your Google Now. Now, however, if you do want to install this the correct way and you do have a TWRP or a custom recovery of some sort on your device, then let's go ahead and I'll show you the proper installation with the actual zip file. So once you boot up into your custom recovery, it's pretty simple. You just go into install with TWRP and you'll see in here I had the leaked Nexus Launcher dot zip and I will have that file in the description below. Just go ahead and tap on that bad boy and swipe it over. This is going to do a very quick install and then you can just reboot your system. Once you boot back up into your current ROM or stock version of Android, you'll see that you do have in fact the Nexus Launcher installed properly through the zip flash. And you can see here that if you go into your settings, go to your home access menu, you're going to see that it is not removable. So that means it's actually installed as a system app and you are going to have full functionality. So you will get your Google now on the side. You will have the option to go in here and use your wallpapers without crashing. Anyway, guys, that pretty much sums it up. It's a very simple launcher to install either via APK or through the installation of Flash Zip. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a thumbs up. Hit the comment section down below if you want to leave any feedback. Subscribe to the channel to support me. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.